The big? Oh, it's a good one. Oh, I got you. Easy, easy. That's a star, Doc, and that's a star. Dude, that might be 30. That might be 30. She's pushing 30. How many fish are you gonna catch today? At least four. Hey, hey, hey. Well, this is your second fish. Your first smallie of the day was Viggen. Yeah, he was probably pushing four, probably. Yeah, that's a good one. But yeah, that's a nice style of fish. You gonna let her go? See ya. She goes. Nice. Bang. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today, we got our good buddy Connor, go he out here. And then we got Akin back here. We're gonna be chasing around some smallies. It's gonna be a multi-species kind of day. We're gonna be going after a little bit of everything. Smallies, walleyes, bluegills, and crappies. And we already seem to find a smallmouth on our little rock pile. But it is a little windy and cold and chilly out here. So I am gonna go ahead and get the GoPro strapped on and we'll start fishing and see if we can't catch anything big. So you guys just stay tuned and uh, fish. Alrighty, well I'm gonna start fishing. I'm gonna start with a little rip and wrap, a little darker color, kind of looks like a crawfish. And uh, we're just gonna give her a nice little flip on out there. And see if there's any fish still here, because I can clap them all apparently. But we're fishing a deeper rock pile today. It's about 22 to 18 feet of water, scattered rock on it. And apparently there's smallies on it, so let me see if we can't catch any more. Dang, Akin, you scared them all, man. What is it gonna be? Small jaw. Hey, what up, bucko? Chunky old girl. Oh, yeah. Fatty. See you. There you go, Akin. That's a good one. No? Looks like it bent you pretty good. That's a smaller one for sure. Dark. dark. Really dark. Wow. God dang, old son. Oh, that's pretty sweet. There you go. You stud. See ya. Hey, this one feels really small. Small jaws. Ski. Hey, Bubba. Yeah, you seemed a little smaller, huh? Akin just catches all the big ones. Leaves me to all the dinks. Thanks, Akin. You're welcome. Me cool. What do you want me to do about it? I don't see him on the grass. Cool to see. Yeah, yeah, down. Catch him! Catch it! I'm trying. There ain't no fish in this damn lake. Dude, I saw the biggest ball just follow me. How big was it, bro? Like probably bigger than the like the first one he caught. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> Go he! Oh, no, you talk shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm <laughs> That's the one that followed you up, man. This is like There's little, a fish this on is like there. His little 
<laughs> Dang, that's a good one. like a walleye. There's like a big one. Oh yeah, get the net. Get the net. It's not that big, I can just... Boop. <laughs> Boop, flip. There we go! The right species! I didn't think it was ever gonna get done. But it got done on the rip and wrap. We've been struggling the last hour and uh, the smallmouth quit biting, but Mr. Walleye decided to come up and munch it. It's a nice little 22, 23 incher. I don't think I'm gonna throw on the bump board, but she's a dandy little one. Get her back in the water. Oh yeah. See you later, girl. Got her, Gohe. And we're going to shore. I thought we were spot locked. Well, GoPro wasn't recording, but I got another nice one. It's about the same size as the other one. Got them on the rip and wrap. Another beautiful walleye, probably. This one's probably 21, 22, but uh, we'll get them back in the water. See you. That a boy Aachen! Isaac's hooked up. Hook set was kind of trash, so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. You start, is it a big one? Probably the same size as yours. Oh, Aachen's on. Oh, it's a musky. No, it's a pike. It's a pike. It's a toothy critter. Aachen just loves his toothy critters. Get me all excited. It's a good pike though. Yeah, a little better than the little screamy little guys. Yeah, it'll do. I don't, yeah. Nice. That's something. Okay, there is actually a really fat fish. Straight this way. There's a really big fish. On. A little big. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, I got you. Easy, easy. That's a stud, Akin. That's a stud. Dude, that might be 30. That might be 30. She's pushing 30. I don't know, 28? That's not bad. Okay. Bump board. Oh my god. Yeah, not even close. 27 and a half. 27 and a half, you stud. Not bad. That's a, that's a solid fish there. Oh yeah. You crank that one, that's for sure. You want some pictures? Might as well. All right. Alrighty. Hawkins beast. Going back in the water. See ya. There she goes. Stud. Good stuff. Oh, 
snapped me off. That was a pike. There we go. They heard you yurping. Or is that a snag? If this is a fish, it's really big. I think it's a snag though. Oh, it's just a weird pike. Hey! Come back here! Ow! Ow, pliers. Feel... Dude, can one of these please just be a muskie? Damn. Damn, there are fish up there. That's crazy. Oh, Mm. <laughs> what was that? Pike. That was a musky dude. Congratulations, Mr. Pike. You got yourself a ripping wrap in your mouth now. It's a walleye. Shut up, baby Yakin! You're hooked up! We're on the board again. Oh, it's a pike. No, it's a walleye. A walleye. We'll flip him in. Yes, sir. Yeah. He choked that thing, boy. Here you go. Oh, nice. Look, 23 inch. Quick and easy. Hello, boy. Get him up in here, boy. There you go. Another good one. Oh, yeah. Good job. See you. Fish do exist here. Oh dang. This one? Uh, it might be a pike. I just felt the roll. <laughs> Love that. Or it felt like it rolled. It's kind of fighting like a walleye though. Kind of looks like a walleye. Oh my god, he choked that thing. Dude, come here, Bubba. I don't think you can catch one on the corner here. This one might be under 20. This is fat. Look how we ate that thing. Bye bye. Got it. Uh, 20 and a quarter. See ya. Hey, odds I hit a tree up here? Pretty good. I didn't even know that was a fish, dude. It felt like a freaking, I don't even know. It felt like a, I don't even know, man. Did not feel like a fish, I can tell you that. Is it a fish? It is a fish. Hey, yo. Hey, there's our keeper. There it is. Heck yeah, open that live well, boy. Open that live well. Oh, you were doing legit. Hell yeah. It's a good eater. I got it. See ya. Nice hawking. You stud. Boat flip. What kind of boat flip was that, boy? You're gonna break your rod tip, kid. Oh, I kind of almost was, wasn't I? <laughs> Yikes, Isaac. Hey, that's a good 19 and a half, 20 inch eh? Yeah, not too bad. You stud. Yep. Go heat. Is it big? What? Is it a pike? It's a big pike. Got a kid. Get him in here. Let's go. You don't get all day, man. You want me to net him? Oh, I think it hailed it, bro. <laughs> hey, go, he caught a fish! Woohoo! 
Oh, it popped out. Nice. <laughs> Why does this feel tiny? Why does this feel like a pike? It's a walleye. It's a little baby guy. Barely have him hooked. Oh, he poopy. They're all down There we go. That's a good one. Big, big. Ah, feels heavy. Never mind. It's skiing in. Ski, ski. Oh, another good quality fish, man. See ya. How much of a mess is this? Oh, yeah, I'm done. What's up, man? Oh, you're old. Oh, you stretch. But it is now the next day. We did end up keeping that one walleye. Fortunately, we didn't really get any other eaters, but uh, this one fish is gonna be enough for me. It's gonna make up a real nice meal. Now, I'm sorry that yesterday was a little iffy. It was very windy out and cold, so it just kind of made things tough. Oh yeah, there's our walleye. We are going to make a pistachio crust for the walleye. Now, I have no idea how this is going to go. I've never had pistachios on fish before. I have seen people do it, and I have heard it is great. So I'm just going to see how this goes. I'm really hoping this goes well. But we are going to have to get these crushed up probably in a blender or just by knife. I think we're going to knife it because we don't have that much. I'm not really sure how many pistachios we need, but uh, we're going to start off with this small little piece here and uh, see if we need more than this which we probably will because these are looking pretty darn good all right we got our pistachios all chopped up and then we got our lovely walleye fillets we are going to season it with some salt pepper garlic that's what is in this bottle right here we're gonna throw in a little paprika and a little bit of italian seasoning well we got our pistachio we're just gonna take a little Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that in there. We don't need too much, just a little bit. That should be more than enough. And we're just gonna take a little lemon juice, get that in there, oh yeah. So we got her kind of mixed up. She's not quite wet enough, but we don't want her too wet, so we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there, just a little bit. Well, we got the pistachios to a nice little mixture, and we're just gonna put it right on our walleye and pat it down. Oh yeah. Our pistachio crust, man. We're gonna see how this goes. Well, we got our lovely walleye fillets and they are gonna go into the oven at 425 for about, I don't know how long. We're gonna see how long it takes. It just varies on how thick your fish are. Probably not gonna take more than eight minutes. We're just going to keep a close eye on them. We're just going to leave them in the oven at 425. We're going to check on them in about four minutes, see how they're looking, and then we will decide how much longer they need to be in there for. Ooh-wee, look at that. We got our lovely walleye pistachio crusted fish, and then we just got a little bedding of mashed potatoes. Now, I am very interested to see how this turned out. Walleye obviously turned out amazingly white and flaky got a little bit of that crust nice golden cheers Hold up Daisy I think we just found a new way to cook fish. That's pretty darn good. I gotta get back in that oh My goodness cheers That is really good. <clears throat> okay. Um, wow. Hello. My taste buds was not expecting that. Mm. 
That was really good. All right. This one's for you, Daisy. Can you catch it? Oh, hey, that wasn't the full thing. Hey. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, seal. Oh my goodness, we made a mess. We made a mess. How is it? Well, obviously she likes it. She's still licking it. But I did end up making a mess, so rip in chat. But this fish is very good. You get that pistachio nutty flavor. And then I also did drizzle just a little bit of honey on top of it before we put it into the oven. And it's like, I don't know, it's like the perfect amount of honey on it. Just did wonders. It's like a sweet, nutty... I don't know, Daisy. It's good. It's really freaking good. If you guys have never tried this before, you guys definitely need to. Super easy, super quick, and it is absolutely delicious. I can't get over it. I can't even eat it with the mashed potatoes. It's so darn good. Cheers. Mmm. And then you also get a little bit of that lemon that we put in there. It's really, really good. If I had to rate this, I'm going to give this a solid 8. Right on the dot, 8. Really, really good. I need to try this with halibut and salmon. And you already want more, don't you? I'm going to finish eating up the rest of this fish, and then I will see you guys afterwards and let you know if I still think the same thing after eating two whole fillets of it. All right. You've been a good girl. You get a little bit more, okay? Good girl. Good girl. You're a good girl. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast yesterday fishing with the fellas. Unfortunately, the weather though, classic South Dakota, it was windy and it was cold and it was kind of raining. The weather wasn't too fun, but the fishing was, so I had a blast out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the walleye content. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.